Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial. I'm going to uh, demonstrate an answer to a question that was asked on the discussion board. And the question was how to set up a subcontractor expense account. Uh, this question actually came from chapter 5, uh, question 12F. And the supplier's name was uh, Powerhouse uh, Safety, or Powerhouse Labor I believe it was. Anyway, they had charged the company $2,300 uh, for temporary labor services, and we were instructed to make a, uh, an expense account for subcontractors and charge the amount to that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to access our chart of accounts, and we do that again by uh, hovering our mouse over the accounting button and then selecting chart of accounts. And right up top here, we can select new. Now, this is an expense account. So again, we want to get the account type correct because we want to make sure that the, um, uh, the account that we're selecting lands on the profit and loss statement and certainly not on your balance sheet. So we're down here to expense and the detail type. Have a look and see what we have. It's not really a payroll. Okay, so there's nothing quite there. So we can just we can just use other or pardon me, office general administrative. Uh, expenses that's fine okay and then we're just going to call this oops, subcontractor okay and we will save it okay next we have to um, set up the supplier just want to have a look again uh, powerhouse staffing was the name of the supplier so we'll go over to expenses and select suppliers. And right on the right hand side, we'll select new supplier. And the company's name is Powerhouse Staffing. Whoops. Tap down and that's good. That's all we need for now because that's all the information that we're giving. And we'll save it. So now we've got the account set up that we need to use and we have the supplier set up. So now we can just go ahead and create the bill. Okay, so we'll search for Powerhouse here. There they are. And we were told that this occurred on March 28th of last year. So here's Powerhouse staffing. Let's create a new transaction and it's going to be a bill. And it's March 28th. <clears throat> Last year. The category, again, yes, it, it will be the, uh, the general ledger account we just created. Subcontractor expense. And for description, we can just put temporary labor. And the amount was 2300 and we're going to assume everything has HST so we will charge HST on that and we're all set so we've again we've got powerhouse staffing as our supplier the date is March 28th 2018 we've created the subcontractor expense account we have our description and it's $2,300 um, plus HST and just looking back at the question again um, Yep, there's nothing here. John made the following expenses in the month of March. Record all transactions to checking. Okay, so this looks this uh, this expense was paid for immediately. So the question says it transactions to checking. That's kind of a bad wording. It was really made on on John's debit account because it's not giving us a check here. The, the the big picture here is that the money immediately came out of our bank account. So let's go back to Bill. Now, if we were going to pay this later, we would have just hit save and close and then just left it to pay it later on and this amount would have sat in our accounts payable account on our balance sheet but because we're going to pay it immediately we're just going to select save and now you can see make the make payment option becomes available to us right here so we're going to select make payment option and we're assuming that it's going to be paid on the same day so now what account are we going to use to pay it? Well, let's use the drop down menu and we're going to use John's debit card. Okay? And save and close. So that was a two step process. We created the invoice, as you can see here, 
and and then we paid it. Oops, here's the invoice, and we paid it. So the balance remaining for uh, powerhouse staffing is zero. I hope you find that uh, you found that little bit uh, of information helpful, and we'll see you in the next video.